Hello everyone, this is Rosalind from Informatica GCS. Today we will discuss about heap dump analysis. In today's video, we will discuss about below topics. We will discuss JVM memory model and how to tune memory leak, out of memory error, how to capture heap dump, memory analyzer tool and basic understanding with an example. So let's understand few components for the same. Uh, JVM memory, it is divided into stack, heap and metaspace. Stack memory contains primitives and references to the object and it will exist till the method is running. Heap is where the actual object's allocation will take place in memory and the objects in memory stays alive till the entire application is running. Coming to metaspace, it is the native memory region outside the Java heap which the JVM uses to store the class metadata. Let's understand what is uh, class metadata. Class metadata is the runtime representation of Java classes within a JVM process. Basically any information the JVM needs to work with the Java class. When a class is loaded and its runtime representation in the JVM is being prepared, Metaspace is allocated by its class loader to store the class metadata. Uh, Metaspace size requirement depends upon uh, the number of classes loaded as well as the size of such class declarations. So for the main cause of the out of memory for Metaspace is either too many classes are loaded to the Metaspace region or declaration of classes being loaded to the metaspace are huge than the size of the metaspace region. Uh, coming to how we can tune the JVM memory size. Uh, there are uh, these two parameters for setting up the heap size xms and xmx xms is to set initial or minimum heap size xmx is to set the maximum heap size to set a metaspace you can use the parameter max metaspace size and accordingly you can give the value similarly for the thread stack size you can use the property hyphen xss next is memory leak we have seen the common issues of out of memory and it generates heap dump. Out of memory means there are no memory available to be allocated to any object. Might be the allocated heap size is not sufficient for the application to run. But if the application is crashing due to memory leak and giving out of memory error, then you need to find out the same. Uh, memory leak is a situation uh, when there are objects present in the heap that are no longer used and still being referenced but the garbage collector is unable to remove them from the memory. So if a memory leak is not dealt with then the application will eventually exhaust its resources and will terminate with a fatal java lang out of memory error. Out of memory error. It is a most common indication of memory leak when there is insufficient space to allocate a new object. Uh, here are few uh, types of out of memory error. Okay, now let's discuss on how to capture a heap dump. Java provides the heap dump on out of memory error. It is a command. It is a command line utility which will help in generate the heap dump when an out of memory error is thrown. By default, it will be stored as uh, java underscore pid and pid of that particular process dot hprof file in the directory where uh, you are running the application. But if you want to specific any particular location for the heap dump to be generated, then you can also set heap dump path and give the location where you want to uh, generate the heap dump in case of out of memory error. Here, this is an uh, example, a screenshot from our own uh, log, uh, from the node log. Uh, when our application runs and out of memory error, it fails with out of memory, then uh, 
if at all these above uh, parameters are set then we will be able to see such kind of error and the hprof file would be generated okay now we will see some of the components to understand the mat tool and analyze the heap term uh, shallow heap and retained heap uh, so what are these shallow heap is the size of the object in memory whereas retain heap is the amount of memory that will be freed when a particular object is garbage collected that is the object size along with all its references consider here a is uh, holding a reference to all other objects like b c d e f g uh, if a is garbage collected then all the other uh, objects would also be garbage collected so the retained heap is the memory that will be freed if a particular object is getting garbage collected along with all the referenced op here con consider uh, b d and e over here each of these objects have shallow heap of 10 bytes as per the diagram object b has outgoing reference to object d and e so the retained heap of B would be shallow heap of B, D and E which is 30 bytes. Coming to histogram, uh, it will list all the different classes loaded in your Java application at the time of heap term. It also lists the number of objects per class along with the shallow and retained heap size. Histogram is useful to find other retained heap size by any class and find out how many instances per that class. Uh, it will group the objects by the class and will be beneficial to understand which class is holding maximum amount of heap in memory. Uh, this is dominator tree dominator tree will list the biggest object it will show who is holding the maximum amount of retained heap here if you would see uh, it is the main thread which is holding around 98.9% .9 of the heap once you expand this you will see all the, its references or the reference chain to this particular object which will eventually keep this particular object alive also you could see uh, retained hip and shallow hip sizes not displayed as a human readable format i will show you in the demo on how the same can be changed to a human readable format okay we will see the example but before that you need to have java installed on your machine to open eclipse mac tool you need to have java installed on the particular machine you need to set uh, the, these are the few environment variables you need to set like path and java home on your machine so that uh, you can open the mat tool and make sure that the respective java has been picked by the mat tool this is just an example where i have installed java on my machine and have set uh, these given environment variables uh, so I go to this particular location I do set these environment variables explicitly then I'll go to this particular location where uh, I have my mat tool installed and uh, it, I make to make just to make sure that it will take the correct Java so now we will see the Eclipse memory analyzer tool uh, this is the Eclipse memory analyzer tool so if you want to analyze any heap dump, you can import the heap dump file from here. So before that, I wanted to inform one more thing. If you want to analyze any heap dump file of say 2 GB, then you need to allocate at least one additional GB space for the mat. So this can be done by editing memoryanalyzer.ini file. This is where I have my mat tool installed so this is the application and this is the configuration file so once you open this file here there is an option for xms uh, you can uh, set the xms as per the requirement as per the size of the file you want to analyze in the mat tool so here i have added 4 gb now let's go open any hprof file come to file 
open heap dump this is the file i would want to analyze click on open okay so this is trying to open the hprof file it might take some time here you could see uh, it is getting opened it is passing the heap drum for this particular file and it is trying to open okay uh, once it is opened you will see this particular window where you have leak suspect report component report and reopen previously run reports uh, let's select this leak suspect report and do finish before that i was uh, talking about uh, changing the size to human readable right so here click on windows come to preferences and here come to memory analyzer here you have an option called smart so now it will show in the human readable format for all the retained heap and shallow heap you can do apply and apply and close uh, here the total heap size is 3 gb out of which 2.8 gb has been occupied the leak suspect report says the task thread this one is uh, keeping local variable with total size of 2.77 gb which is around 92% uh here the maximum heap is occupied by the variables of the task thread the maximum memory is accumulated in one instance of java lang object we have discussed about nominated tree and histogram if you could see uh this is the histogram uh of the set of objects i'll just expand it here you could see the shallow heap and retained heap size in gb so you can understand these are the individual classes and the retained heap and the shallow heap of the respective classes now whenever there is an out of memory error you should go to the dominator tree to see the biggest object so this is the dominator tree click here so this dominator tree usually the top one or two classes must be holding the maximum retained heap and that should cause the memory leak here if i would expand if you could see this particular task thread is only taking 92.62% of the memory and the retained heap is 2.77 gb once you expand this particular class you will see the respective array and then you expand it further you will see all the instances of the same object which is consuming all the memory here if i would expand further you could see this particular object is called 108275 times there are these many entries of this particular object and this is retaining the maximum heap once you open this completely to the end you should be able to see the particular value which is being written in the console which might be causing this issue so here uh, i have come to the last object and if you come here and click at the value you would see this particular value for one string object as i have shown there are multiple number of string objects and all of them are holding this particular value so this issue will occur because the data this particular data which we are seeing here is being written to the memory so as the data is written to the standard output is held in memory and passed to the domain service after completion of the command so if there are not enough memory that could be allocated by the domain service to hold this data then it will crash with an out of memory exception so for this particular scenario what we could do is we can probably go to this particular session and we can redirect the script output to a file or or if it is not needed we can directly 
redirect it to dev null so this is with respect to this particular session so the recommendation would be go to this particular session to troubleshoot why this message is being printed on the console for references you can uh, check informatica knowledge base for that you can log into search.informatica.com we would love to hear from you please write your feedback at supportvideos@informatica.com thank you